Hi everyone, it's Mark here, and I've got for you today a few chords that work really well together for you guys to practice. Um, we've got an E chord, we've got an A chord, and we've got a B7 chord. Pretty cool. I'm just going to zoom in for you so that you can see how to play them. So the first chord is this E major chord. All right. This is a full six string uh, root note chord. So you go from the sixth string all the way down the strings. It sounds pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do first of all is put your first finger or index finger on the uh, third string first fret and your second finger on the fifth string on the second fret. That's here. And your third finger on the fourth string second fret. You just need to budge those two fingers into the same fret. And you should get. Watch out for the back of your third finger touching that third string like that. Make sure it's up straight, 90 degrees to the fretboard. You've got an E major chord. And then, moving on to that A chord. Now this is commonly referred to as a staircase chord, because it's like a staircase. Yeah. Like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is put your first finger quite far back away from the fret, yeah, on the second fret on the fourth string. I know it sounds wrong, but yeah, it will, it will become apparent in a sec. Here we go, and then your second finger goes underneath that on the third string, second fret, and your third finger squashes in, you've got to squash all your fingers in on the second fret, and then that third finger's on the second string. First string should be open, and then from the fifth string down, you strum down. Now when, when, when you get quite confident with this, you can put your thumb over the top, and mute out the bottom string with your thumb. So then even if you accidentally hit it, it's going to ring out okay. okay. And then on that one, obviously be careful, your third finger shouldn't mute out that top string. All right. Okay, and then we come on to the four string chord, sorry, four string, the four fingered chord, the B7 chord. This is a cool chord, this is. Very bluesy sounding because it's a seventh chord, all right? Or dominant seventh, which is the full name for it. It's pretty cool. And this one, the easiest way to explain this is that if you put your pinky, or your little finger, top string or first string on the second fret, and then you skip a string and put your third finger on the second fret again, on the third string this time, skip a string and put your second finger on the fifth string, second fret this time, then your first finger just goes onto the fourth string. So I take your uh, second finger off so you can see that. Fourth string, first fret, put your second finger back on. Now on this one, your second finger lightly touches the bottom string as well as fretting that um, fifth string. So there we are, that's a B7. And for obvious reasons, you've got to keep your fingers really up straight on this one or else you run the risk of getting lots of muted strings. Practice that until you get all five of those strings to ring out. Okay, and then you can strum along. So E major, four strums, A major, B7, A7, E major. So that's pretty cool. So you've got an E major chord, you've got your A major chord, B7, A major, that's an E major. You can finish off with B7 if you wanted to. Then back to E. I can't sing, but it's all right. Pretty cool. Hopefully you guys learned something there. So that's three new chords for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube um, if you're watching this on YouTube. If not, then you must be watching this on my website, which is www.randallsonguitar.co.uk. Um, there'll be some notes and stuff on my website um, talking you through the chords and everything. So it's well, well worth popping on there if you're on YouTube at the moment. Also on my website up there, there, there should be a like button. Um, click it. Um, and also you can find me on uh, Facebook and that is Mark Randall from Guitar Tuition or there'll be a link there on my website as well. Um, look, look forward to speaking to you guys on the website and I will see you soon in my next video. Mark out for now.